Hello YouTube and Facebook. This is a video I promised my friend Bob Hightower quite a while ago about how to put a Triumph up on the center stand without using a huge amount of effort. Now typically if you mount a center stand on your Triumph, and I'll have you take a look here in just a second, I'll adjust my camera here so we can get down by the motorcycle. And you can see from underneath here, this is the center stand. And it comes down like that. It doesn't come down real super far now. The bike's actually leaned over so it's not centered right now. But you can see it doesn't come down real super far. So you've got to use a lot of grunt force the way the bike sits. Even tipped up you gain a little bit. But it's still a lot of grunt force to be able to get that up. So by raising this tire, and this was a suggestion by my friend Tom, Navy Thomas 8. Check out his channel, Navy Thomas 8 is the channel on YouTube. He said just put a 2x4 underneath it. In other words, roll it up on a 2x4. So I figured, well, I didn't have a 2x4 handy at the time, but I had a 1x3. So I took this 1x3, three, 3 quarters of an inch thick, and I figured, well, let's see if it gains me enough to uh, do it. And sure enough, when I put this underneath the tire, like this, and then I'm going to tip the bike up. And I'm going to do this twice because I have to show you from different angles how this works. So let me move this cardboard out of the way a little bit and set the camera up for you. But I'm going to roll the tire up onto this board. Let me get you aimed here. Okay, I'm going to tip the bike up and then roll it on the board. And then I'm going to hoist it up and take a look here. I'm just wearing tennis shoes right now. You normally would have a hard time doing this even with boots on without this little board here. But with the board here, it gives that tire just enough lift to where even wearing tennis shoes. Now don't ride with tennis shoes. This is just when you're working on the bike or putting it up on the center stand. I don't advise riding with tennis shoes. But I'll show you from this angle and then we'll do it again from the other angle so you can see what it looks like. So here we go. Okay. Tipping the bike up. Putting the kickstand up, rolling it forward, up onto the wood, putting the center stand down, getting it centered. I'm grabbing the top part of the shock, and you'll see this from another angle in a minute. And just giving it a little hoist like that, and it's up and on the center stand. So, we're going to do it one more time, and we're going to give you a little bit different angle here so you can see a little bit better. So, let me put it over here on my little table so that you can see now you get kind of a good view on everything so I'm going to take it back down and do it all over again from the left side so you can see a better look at it let me aim it just a little bit farther so you can see I'm going to grab a hold of that shock absorber see that kind of silvery looking triangle there right above that is the top of the shock absorber and that's what I'm going to grab a hold of so let's do it all over again move that out of the way down off the center stand, kick stand back down, okay putting the wood underneath the tire, just like that, let me check the camera again to make sure you guys got a good view, okay I've got the wood in front of the tire, we're going to roll it up onto the piece of wood, Stand up, roll it up on the piece of the wood, take the center stand, put it down, tip it so that it's centered on the center stand. I'm going to put my hand right here on the shock absorber. I'm just going to rock it back like that and pull up. Super easy, super simple. Without that board though, it's quite the operation to be able to get it done. So that's what you do. And the other thing is you can use this piece of wood. In case you're in a, a dirt or a sandy area, I actually take this piece of wood, put it there like that, and use it to put my kickstand down on if I'm on soft ground or if you're on black asphalt on a hot day so the kickstand doesn't sink in. So by keeping that in my saddlebag over here, I actually have a duplicate piece. That's my the one that I'm showing you is my extra, but inside here I've got another piece identical to this one. And that's all you need. Don't even need a 2x4, just gaining 3 quarters of an inch with a 1x3 will do it for you. So anyway, there's your video, Bob, and hope anybody else that has a Triumph on a center stand and you're having trouble getting it up on the center stand 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just use a little piece of wood. Talk to you later.